Assalamu alaikum, my dear students, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I am fine. Hope you are also fine. And I do believe you are staying home in this way, you are staying safe. Today, I am going to conduct a very good and very important class on right forms of verbs. Uh, truly speaking, I will uh, teach you some rules, advanced rules that usually uh, uh, in sol solving the problems you find very difficulties, right? Okay, here we go. I am going to write uh, first at the very beginning, just I will write some uh, exercise and then I will discuss the rule, right? Yeah. So, rule uh, practice number one, that is practice, practice number one, right? Yeah. So, I am going to write one very the most important rules of right form of verbs and it is seen students are uh, found uh, doing mistake, right? Students are found facing Herculean job when uh, they find or they face this type of examples, clear? Okay, yeah. Plucking flower not allow here. Right? So, our practice number one is plucking flower not allow here. So, how will you solve this problem? What are the ways? What is the way you will follow to solve this problem? Right? Can you can you tell me the answer? Plucking flower in Bengali, full tola. Not allow. Here two things. How to solve this problem? To solve this problem, you have to <coughs> remember two important things. That is, uh, do you know the classification of subjects? How many types of subjects are there? Are two types of subjects? Basically, basically, subjects are of two types. Number one, subject. Number one, active, active subject. And number two, passive. Active and passive. Yes. Here, packing flowers. This is subject right this is subject this is verb and this is extension extra portion of the verb so what is an active subject and what is a passive subject clear so active subject refers to persons like i o e you he she if i write if i just write see He, he, not, make, usually, late. Okay. See? Here this is subject and here this is subject, right? So what is the difference? The difference is he is a person, he automatically does this action, right? He make, he does this thing, he himself does this thing. But here, see, plucking flower not allow here do you think packing flower acts here money packing flower nije kas korte pare kina here he does the work himself he is called active subject active this is active subject right i think you have been clear and passive subject is packing flower see flower cannot allow 
right but he makes clear so subjects are of two types active subject and passive subject active and passive now how to solve these two things that is our question and that is the rule i am going to discuss see plucking flower not i am i, I would like to solve exercise number two first then i will go to exercise number one right so since the subject is active what you have to do you have just to point out there is a not so you know negative sentence right negative sentence if you see not in a sentence then you have to guess there must be an auxiliary verb and usually you see usually adverb usually is an adverb and if you see usually you guess this is a present simple tense so the answer becomes he does not make <coughs> late he doesn't make late and usually you use usually here u s u a l l y he doesn't usually make late so does is the auxiliary verb why because of not understand because of since this sentence contains not so you must bring an auxiliary verb do does or did as per the tense as per the demand of the tense you know usually is a present tense so here you have to bring do or does since the subject is third person singular so you have to use does and a not usually adverb and make base form of verb so this change has happened here right doesn't usually Banglate hoche. If I speak in Bangla, you will feel some is that is subject doi prokarer active and passive. If the subject is active, you would need not bring any auxiliary verb, military am is or was where, right? So <coughs> you see not here, that's why you have to bring an auxiliary verb do, does, or did third person singular. So verb will be does, doesn't usually make late. <coughs> clear now what you have to do packing flower this is inactive subject this is an inactive subject so what you have to do is just the verb you have to change this verb this is an inactive passive subject so you have to bring auxiliary verb m is r was where as per tense you know this is uh, here you don't see any type of indication in this uh, exercise, in exercise number two you see usually that's why you guessed this is a present simple tense but here you don't see such symptom right so how can you guess this is a present tense plucking flower not allow here since there is no symptom of identification of tense you guess this is a present simple tense and this is <coughs> passive subject so verb will be subject third person singular so is is not allowed clear this change you have to make more katha hoche subject dui prakarer subjects are of two types active subject and passive subject subject nije kas korte parle am is or was or ebhabe anar dorkar nei active voice e kore rakhte hobe but if you see subject is in passive then you have to bring auxiliary verb as per the meaning clear i think you have been play very clear right so what is the rule rule is as per the demand of the sentence you have to bring auxiliary verb right this is practice number one so here we go for more practice you see english is an international language right it 
speak all over the world right so now you will be clear about clear very clear about the rule it so what does it mean it means english do you think it speaks eta bole na eta bola hoy which one definitely it eta bola hoy so it is an active or passive subject which one is this a uh, person i mean i o u he she they no it's not rather this refers to english its name of a subject so you have to bring an auxiliary verb here that is is it is third person singular am is are it is spoken right all over the world right it is spoken all over the world mane hocche subject dui prokar active passive jodi subject ti active hoy tahole auxiliary verb lagteo pare nao lagte pare seta not jodi thake negative hole do does did have has had ei rokom er tense as per the indication of tense but jodi subject ta passive hoy tokhon obosshoi tense onujayi auxiliary verb ante hobe you know this is an indication of present tense english sara prithibite bola hoy sob shomoy bola hoy otito bola hoyche ekhono bola hoyche bhobishyote bola hoyche eta sadharon kotha it's a common thing right that's why you have to do this in this way you have to bring an auxiliary verb and just transform or change the base form of verb into past participle form understand i think you have understood the rule practice number 1 okay now practice number we will go for practice number 2 practice number 2 <coughs> right do you have any idea about gerund i think you have a very good idea about gerund right so practice number 2 uh if i write uh i don't mind to eat burger right i don't mind to eat burger clear can you change this or can you correct uh this statement yes there is a problem here okay and it's related to a rule i don't mind to eat burger clear so the problem how to identify the problem of this sentence right let's diagnose at first so we see mind this is a verb don't mind this is auxiliary verb this is principal verb a v and m v main verb right so our focus is about mind right <coughs> the answer will be to will be minus and it plus ing so answer will be eating right but why i don't mind ting burger but how has this been possible i would like to clarify the problem smind ami kichu বার্গার খেতে আমার তেমন কোনো আপত্তি নেই অ্যান্সারটি হচ্ছে এরকমের হাওয়ার সে স্টপ দিস ইজ নোট স্টপ 
स्टार्ट एंजॉय डिस्कस कंटिन्यू कीप एवॉइड माइंड मैटर these are some verbs stop start discuss stop start discuss continue keep avoid mind matter these are some verbs and if you see and if you see any verb after these verbs okay if you see any verb after these verbs and then guess the next verb after these verbs will always assume ing and if you see any two you will just minus them this two will be reduced alleviated removed okay <coughs> yeah this two will be minus remember this thing okay so if you see stop start discuss continue keep avoid mind matter these types of verbs in a sentence and you have to correct the verb after these verbs then just you add ing with that very verb and delete to if there is any to clear then it will be uh, <coughs> solved it will be solved it will be very easy easier for you okay i go for one more practice okay uh i would like to start with continue since since electricity went we continued continued play i continued play uh I continue to not play. Sing. So, what will be the correct answer? Hmm? Since electricity went, I continue to, as per the condition of the verb continue. Right? If there is a, a continue. or if you see this types of verbs right and after them another verb in bracket you have to you have just to add ing so answer is singing so answer becomes singing that is since electricity went we continued singing songs or singing right i think you have been clear <coughs> now i will go for practice number 3 so what can be plus v i n g right n b bishesh drustobo bangla ei verb gulor pore verb asle ing hoye jabe jiran form hoye jabe clear acha tole ami muche felchi i am going to erase this one no practice number 3 okay practice number 3 see women constitute half of our total 
population. Right? So women constitute half of our total population. Okay? They country contribute to boost boost up our economy right they contribute to So, what will be answer uh, to this problem? Can you guess? I think you can. So, what's the solution? What can be the answer to this problem? This is a problem, you know. Yeah. Usually, usually, usually. Usually, to takes V1, that is 2 plus V1, we know, usually, the focus is usually, see, Shadharanato, usually 2, 2, Varver, base form nay, and that is known to be infinitive okay so as per the rule usually to air for a variable base form so answer you gaze they contribute to boost up our economy no but there is a but and the but is but but there is a but and that is there are some phrases like with a view to look forward to get used to yes with a view to look forward to get used to uh, devoted to then prefer to contribute to right with a word to look forward to get used to devoted to prefer to contribute to aro ache with an object to right these are called phrases plus v i n z this is the most important thing to be noticed there are some phrasal expression there are some phrasal expressions right there are some phrasal expression and they do always take ing after them right this is no more a no more an infinitive no more just an infinitive clear this is phrasal these are phrasal expressions with a view to look forward to get used to devoted to prefer to contribute to uh, with an object to right these are phrasal expressions so as per contribute to contribute and to do you see contribute to here i think you see contribute to so contribute to plus wing so contribute to so answer is boosting up answer is boosting up right so here answer is boosting up boosting 
B double O S T I N G boosting up. So they contribute to boosting up. Usually two takes boost, but since these are phrasal expression, so you are not allowed to use base form. Rather, you have to use what? You have to use ing form because these are known to be phrasal expressions. Clear? Have you been clear? I think you have been clear. You have been very clear. Right? And I do believe you will be able to uh, solve problems related to these rules later on. Okay. Yeah. So dear students, this is all for today. I hope in future, inshallah, I will be available with some new more rules. So until then, you stay at home, stay home and, waste, and don't waste your, uh, waste your time, just utilize your time properly. Okay. I love this.